After inserting the plugin, solo the track and begin adjusting the threshold of the gate. This is a global threshold setting that all the bands will read from. Next, look at the center of the plugin and you'll see the mid band frequency in the green color. Click the S button to solo this mid band frequency range. In the case of our snare drum, we want to select as much of the mid body as possible. A range between 200 Hz and 4000 kHz are good starting points. For the low end portion, we just want to give the main mid beef of the snare. And for the higher crossover point, we want to be at the position where the snare starts losing the air underneath it. This is how you'll know you're in a good spot. The main power of this plugin lies in your ability to manipulate the hold and release of each band individually. With the visual feedback window of MIG band, adjust these two settings to block out as much bleed as possible. The release knob in particular is very powerful here. By having a somewhat fast hold setting and a medium to long release, you can achieve a nice soft drop off that doesn't sound choppy or artificial. From here, move to the high band. This band is all about controlling ridiculous cymbal bleed and other shell noise. For the high band, you'll probably find yourself using a fast hold and release setting since you'll want to have the snap and attack of your drum, but none of that nasty cymbal bleed afterward. Solo the band and adjust the settings until you reach that goal. For the low band, now we can keep all that fat, amazing thickness we've always wanted to keep, but we couldn't with other gates. Adjust the hold and release knobs as you've just done with the other two bands and you're good to go. You'll notice that your audio source may have dropped in volume, which would make sense. You've removed a lot of noise. What you can do now is slightly increase the mid band volume and overall volume from the plugin to make up for the volume decrease. From here, it's just a matter of repeating the process on any sound source of the drum kit that you want. In the case of this video, the plugin was inserted on every major aspect of the drum kit and dialed in. Let's have a look at the full AB and marvel at the power of what this plugin can do.